Hello folks, Everchanger here, and welcome to Pokemon Blaze Black 2 once again. Christmas episode, very nice. Pretty fitting that it's snowing. Anyway, today we are going to be doing, as I mentioned in the last episode, exploring areas that we could not have explored prior to now because last episode we obtained the move Surf. And as you can probably tell, I have momentarily completely forgotten how I did my intro to these videos because... I really don't know why. Anyway, Gastrodon is the only Pokémon we have that learns Surf, and is probably one of the major reasons I put it on the team, because Surf is probably the HM that gets the most use in Generation 5. So, what we are going to do is we are going to be deleting Water Pulse, because Surf is much stronger and even though it got a little bit nerfed in Diamond and Pearl and now hits your ally in multi-battles, multi-battles are still, for whatever reason, so rare in the main series that I really don't think that is a problem we're going to have to worry about going through the single player right here. So anyway, now that we have taught Gastrodon Surf, I would like to fly way back to where our journey began to commence our little exploration of past areas. Now, as this episode is going to actually be coming out on Christmas Day, probably going to be a little bit short. There aren't too terribly many areas that we can explore with Surf at the moment, but I'd rather not also do the next major dungeon I want to tackle in this episode, because it's Christmas Day. You're kind of going to want a bit of a shorter episode, so I'm going to try my best to deliver on that front. Anyway right here, right in front of the house where it all began, this little pond. Surf right over here with Surf. Pretty simple and intuitive how it works. We have TM53 Energy Ball, which is a grass-type move. Special grass-type move. Very nice. Anyway, heading back on over here, it is worth noting that you may also find wild Pokémon when surfing, as you might expect. I'm not going to be covering these in great detail today, however, the next time we do a mass catching episode, there will be an episode dedicated to the capture of Pokémon that we could get through Surf in areas that we have not been able to Surf in before. But of course, we also have this Wurmple here, which I am going to be running from because we already have one. Anyway, right over here, we have even more water. Very nice. Heading on over this way, yet another item for us. This is a water stone, which can come in very useful later on if we ever need to evolve a Pokémon with a water stone. Not sure when we're going to encounter that quite yet, but it's there. Also, worth pointing out, Glitch. I'm pretty sure I covered this Glitch in one of my super old videos on this channel, but if I didn't... Wow, voice cracked. If I didn't, you can walk inside this cliff right here, which is kind of funny, actually. I find that quite amusing. Anyway, TM31 Brick Break. Very, very good fighting type move that also breaks the effects of moves like, effect, like um, Reflect and Light Screen. And right here, in the exact spot where we first saw Alder when he jumped off the cliff, we have an Expert Belt, which is quite a good item, actually. I don't remember what it does off the top of my head, but I do remember enough to know that that's something you really want to pick up. Anyway, a little bit lazy to climb all the way back down this cliff, so instead we are going to be flying over to Flockacy Town just to show off some other surfing areas. This episode's mainly just going to be going through the motions of exploring what we have yet to see with Surf. Heading up this way, as you would expect, we have Route 20. Now, as far as I know, I don't think there is anything down here that you can get with Surf quite yet. Yes, I am correct about that. It is completely blocked off. And I believe if you Surf on this bit of water right here, it mainly just serves as a shortcut through the route. So, pretty interesting thing of note. Anyway, yet another super low-level Pokémon raining on our parade. Heading right through here, once again, relatively pointless to surf in that bit of water right there, but if we head up here into the ranch, 
we can also surf on this water. Now, I will admit, I don't actually know if there is anything worth getting on this water. On this southern bit, there seems to be absolutely nothing of note here, but I believe all the way through the ranch, at the very end of it, there is actually another portion of river. So I'm going to spare you guys the long-ish walk all the way back here, and I will meet you guys once I'm back over there. Alrighty, I am back over here at the very edge of the upper portion of the river, and there does appear to be something hiding over here. Is there anything down here? There is not. However, right up here, this is actually a hidden grotto, which I definitely want to make note of. We have a hidden item. It is growth mulch, which is entirely pointless except to be sold in the Univer region. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. Feels like Santa brought me cold this year. Anyhow, worth noting that that hidden grotto is there, because there is going to come a time eventually where I am going to need to do a lot of hidden grotto grinding to get some Pokémon that are exclusive to, hit to the hidden grotto. Yes, they are that cruel in this hack. There are Pokémon that are hidden grotto exclusive. Now you might be wondering why I'm heading over here to Pokestar Studios. There's no water over here, right? Well, yet another glitch that I showed off in one of my old videos actually involves surf and takes place right over here. You can surf on this tree. Only this one tile. Very, very strange glitch. And if I'm remembering correctly, I think you can also use your rod? Oh wow, you actually can't. That is a very odd permissions problem. But anyway, we're going to hop on our bike real quick because the main attraction around this area is actually Verbank City. Because, I don't know if any of you noticed, but there is quite a bit of water down in Verbank City, which is pretty interesting. I don't think you can actually get on the water from here. No, you cannot. However, if we head over this way and down into the complex, we can loop back around this way. And of course, might as well do this trade since we're here. No reason why you shouldn't do this trade. And then we can hop back onto the water with Surf. Once again, I'm really surprised we haven't run into any Pokemon yet doing this. And it looks like we actually have a hidden item. A pearl, very nice. To be sold for money, but you never know, we might find ourselves in need of money again eventually. Oh wow, there's actually a hidden staircase down here. I don't think I ever noticed that. Which means technically I could have gotten this item on our first visit, which is a little embarrassing. Anyhow, we may also head over this way. And around this way. Wait, I never got that? Really? Wow. What is it pointing to? Oh, okay. It is pointing to something. That's actually important. Almost forgot. Silk scarf right there. Very nice. I believe we already have one of these. I really want to pick up what's in that trash can now. And now that I'm looking at that, I think that was also something I technically could have gotten on our first visit. So yeah, I'm doing a really good job of showing off stuff in this game, guys. Seriously. Anyway, one of the very few trash cans in the game that actually has an item in it, so I figure that's worth noting. Interestingly enough, the item finder is actually picking up something on Route 20, and I completely forgot there was other stuff on Route 20 in, uh, in the moment, so gonna have to make sure to go and get that. Anyway, even more surfing. There's a lot of surfing you can do in this area. There's this area right here, which I believe is completely pointless, but I might as well point it out. And of course, this area, which is also completely pointless. Kind of odd how that's there. But if we head up here, we have that item that's been teasing us for the past, what, 40 episodes? TM36 Sludge Bomb, third TM of the video. That's really, really nice. And now, because I am super lazy, I'm not even going to surf back out of this. I'm instead just going to fly to the Pokemon Center, which is literally on screen right now. Judge me as you will. 
Anyway, we definitely want to bring that dowsing machine back up because the item finder is picking up something on Route 20. If we head right on out this way, oop, didn't mean to go in there, we have this little bit of water, and right across it there is yet another bit of land with something interesting for us. And I promise you guys wild Pokemon appear when surfing, contrary to what the empirical evidence we've been encountering so far might suggest. Anyway, if you attempt to progress further on this water, you will find... Oh wow, there actually is more. Was not actually aware of that. Unfortunately, this is an area that you're pretty much required to wait until the fall to explore. A little unfortunate, but them's the ropes. And we also have a bit of doubles grass here, which is interesting. As you can see on that river, if you were to progress to the west, you would be met with a waterfall, which is an obstacle that we cannot do anything about quite yet. So instead, we are going to fly to even more areas where we can utilize our power to surf. Now one thing that is definitely worth noting is the Castelia sewers have water in them, but only in the spring and summer. It is currently winter in the game right now, meaning I cannot actually show off what surfing does in this area at the moment, but next month in January, I will make sure to make a note of coming back to this area. Which means I think the next place to show off surfing is technically Route 4, although I don't think there's anything there, but I might as well go and double check that to make sure. So anyway, I will meet you guys down on the southern end of this route, because it's actually quite a walk. Alrighty, here we are on the lowest portion of Route 4, both geographically and literally, since this is the lowest altitude. But anyway, as you can see, there is nothing. Yes, I walked all the way down here to show you that there is absolutely nothing that you can get here besides catch Pokémon when surfing. Because... I'm a completionist like that, what can I say? Anyway, Lucario cannot fly, although that would be amazing. Next area I would like to show off with surfing capabilities is actually Lost Lorne Forest. Once again, I'm pretty sure there actually isn't anything you can get through surfing in this area. Yet. But I am going to go and make absolutely sure of that, so once again, Jump cut to Lost Lorn Forest. Alrighty, here we are in Lost Lorn Forest. As you can see, this way we have an obstruction. This way we have a waterfall. A wall of water is crashing down with a mighty roar. So as you can see, once again, not really much you can do in this area without the ability to traverse waterfalls, very similar to Route 20, so once again, I'm mainly coming here to point out that don't forget that this area is here because there's going to be some important stuff here later. Now, I believe we only have two areas left. The first one is Driftvale City. You ever notice how they put you actually one square in front of the Pokemon Center instead of directly in front of it? Hopefully that tipped off someone's OCD. Now where is it? Somewhere around here there is a spot where we are actually capable of surfing. Or is there not? Oh wow, there's this completely random item here that I totally missed. This is the Covenant Ore. Veterans of the Pokémon series might recognize this as a completely new addition that wasn't in the series whatsoever aside from this hack. That is because this is the replacement for link cables, in that if you have a Pokémon that evolves purely by trading it, you now use that item on it. Now, as to why I was confused about Driftvale City being a site of Surf, that is actually in the original black and white. There's an area that you can surf in that was actually... I'm saying actually way too much. I need to stop that. Someone should make a counter. There was an area that was removed in the sequel. There. Okay, I said it. Anyhow, 
the final area I would like to surf in is actually the central room of the Relic Passage here. So, I'm going to meet you guys down there because I have a feeling I'm going to have wild Pokemon coming out the wazoo. Alrighty, here we are in the central area of the Relic Passage. Very nice. Anyway, I'm actually not sure if there is anything worth grabbing over here with Surf. Oh wow, there's actually a special area right here. We have TM-52 Focused Blast. That is really, really good. Four TMs in one video, that's not bad at all. And it looks like that's it, interestingly enough. Now, could this be something new? Unfortunately, it is not. So, with that, I believe that is everything we can explore through Surf here, so I am going to be digging out of here and meeting you guys over back in Driftvale. Alrighty, here we are back in the PWT, and we are going to be heading right back to Driftvale City to end off the episode. I know what you guys are saying, though. Yo, on Route 6, there's actually some stuff that you can get with Surf. Yes, there is, but one of the things that you can actually get by using Surf on Route 6 is a very, very time-consuming thing. In fact, it is the next dungeon that I was referring to at the beginning of the video that we are going to be tackling. However, as I've already stated, this episode is probably around 17-18 minutes long at this point, and I really, really don't want to start on that next dungeon, especially given the fact that this episode is coming out on Christmas. And I think that a long video would probably be rather off-putting to most people. In fact, I don't expect anyone to actually watch this video on Christmas Day anyway. Uh, I can't believe it's Christmas. I will fully be upfront with you guys, I live in upstate New York and it was almost 70 outside today on Christmas Eve. Can you believe that? Man, it is so weird saying that. It's colder in the game than it is outside right now. That's just nuts. Anyway, this past episode of Pokemon Blaze Black 2, we went back to nearly every area that we'd visited previously, with the notable exception of Route 6, and we did all of the exploring we could with our newly found HM of Surf. And next time, we are going to be heading to Route 6 to do some more surfing and discover something quite interesting that I think a lot of people don't really notice is there. So without further ado, thank you all for watching, have a very happy holiday, and I will see you guys next time!